Emergency departments can be a scary place for a sick or injured child, but many children are not able to tell you how they feel. A nonverbal child can be anything from age related to medically fragile, being developmentally delayed, um, being autistic, being physically um, incapable of communicating due to uh, physiological problems. Whether the child is too young to speak or has trouble communicating, health experts at Golisano Children's Hospital work to understand and interact with the child. If you as a provider can pick up on those cues and those, um, those things that the child is telling you non-verbally, it helps you better to be able to communicate back to them verbally and non-verbally. Studies show only 7% of communication is verbal, which is why health experts use facial expressions, eye contact, body language, and even playtime to communicate with non-verbal children. Not all of them can talk to you, mm -hmm. and they want to be able to talk to you. So it, as a provider, it's so important to be able to let them express themselves. Depending on the child's age, gender, emotional, and physical health, experts pick the best ways to get the child to communicate on how they feel in order to get them the best treatment. As an ER provider, we're a little bit, we don't have the general knowledge of that patient. Every patient is different every day they come in. So you have to kind of figure out the space and mirror that patient is what I like to call it. Finding ways to reassure all children they're in good hands can help ease the pain and the fear of the emergency department. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Fry.